This is Nancy and I'm correcting the instructions of how to open the database in MySQL. And all my clicking around last week in order to learn the basic interface of this product, I must have clicked something that allowed me to connect to that Premier database different from what I remember. So I've done more research for you and this is the fastest way I've found so far to get this you connected to it. So here's the premier.sql that is in that I uploaded in the doc sharing for you to download and place on your own hard drive. Now I can't double click it because I have other uh, SQL products on here but if I right click on it and I go to open with I can navigate to the MySQL workbench which is then going to put it here and I'm simply going to click OK. So open up a script window and it has all these commands many of you have gotten to this point and not able to get it over here on the left. So I'm going to go up at the top there and I'm going to go ahead and enter twice and I'm going to put in another command create database and we're going to name it Premier. I'm going to go ahead and select only that one command and execute with the lightning bolt should see down here in the output that it created database premier and one row is affected but I don't see it over here on the left until I actually refresh my schemas and then I'm going to see that premier database over here when I click the plus sign uh, excuse me the arrow next to any of these you'll see there's actually no tables in it or anything I've double clicked to this premier database here and now I'm going to go ahead and dump this original line that I or the line that I just typed in so I have a cursor at the beginning of the create table and I should be able to just hit the lightning bolt at this point and I should again get all of these records down here again I need to refresh and now if I come in to I will see the actual tables I must have been connected to something else during the lecture because the lecture I had underscores in all of my field names and in this data set uh, that I must have had something else through the instructor site that had them with the underscores because in this data set you see none of those field names have underscores they match your textbook perfectly where the ones I did did not um, hopefully this gives you more enough information to get connected to the database next week when we do the Henry and the Alexa Mara databases you'll have to go through a very similar process email me if you have additional questions